It is time to show you some of this morning's headlines. The Wall Street Journal says Apple is in talk with Comcast for a streaming television service. It would be based on an Apple set-top box. Apple would allow users to stream live and on-demand programming stored in the so-called cloud. The Washington Post says President Obama ordered additional special forces to Uganda to search for warlord Joseph Kony. Forces are accused of killing countless civilians and kidnapping thousands of children. CBS News confirms at least four CV-22 Osprey aircraft will arrive in Uganda this week with 150 Air Force Special Operations troops. The New York Times says Japan announced this morning that it will turn over 700 pounds of weapons-grade plutonium and highly enriched uranium to the United States. It is part of President Obama's push to secure dangerous nuclear materials worldwide. The Durango Herald says recovery efforts resumed this morning for a small plane that went down in a Colorado reservoir. Five people are believed to be dead in Saturday's crash. Searchers in boats located the plane in 60 to 90 feet deep water. And the New York Daily News says four men will face charges for skydiving from One World Trade Center. The Manhattan DA plans to charge them with burglary. Last September, three of the men parachuted from the tower while the fourth stood as a lookout.